You know, today I'm talking to you about my brand new Mac Mini. Came out Tuesday. I know it's June anyway, 2010. And uh, it's got a nice all aluminium casing. On the front, we can see the Super Drive. Uh, there's the infrared in the Super Drive. Don't know if you can see it. There's the power light indicator. I'll just shut it down. On the top, we have a nice black Apple logo. Um, on the side, there's nothing on the right or left hand side. On the back, we have a um, power button, the power connector, gigabit ethernet, uh, the firewire, yeah that's the firewire, HDMI connection, that's something new, mini display port, and four USB ports, a micro SD card reader, where my phone went along there, don't know if you can see it. We have an audio out, and an audio in for uses with microphones, things like that. What I also had to buy was this um, mini display port out to VGA adapter, so I was able to plug my HP screen into it. So that's pretty much the system itself. Okay, put that back there. This is my audio device, it's a Gear 4 iPod dock. I have my keyboard and mouse, just cheap things. Uh, but I'll be getting Apple wireless soon, hopefully. My 19 inch HP display. Oh, that's very nice. And this is the box that it comes in. Mac Mini box. Nothing on the right or left hand side. On the bottom is the barcode and all the details, the specification. And on the back, there's a back view again. So I'll just go through it again. The uh, micro SD card reader, Head audio out, audio in for microphones, the exhaust fan, power, on or off, power in cable, gigabit ethernet, firewire 800, HDMI, bin display port, 4 USB 2.0s. Okay, and it's got built in Wi Fi, comes with iLife. Nevada Graphics 256 megabyte. This uh, system features 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor, um, and a 320 gig hard drive, all as standard. So that's not a bad spec. The price is £650. Uh, what you get with it isn't really much. There, got to slide out like so. Okay, so obviously you'll get the Mac Mini and the power cord, which does have no power brick, which makes it a lot nicer, uh, more tidy around the desk. I've got Apple Care Plan as well for three years. You get Apple stickers, nice big ones. If I can get this out of here, uh, you also get the. Uh, HDMI out to DVI connector. Okay, everything else has the uh, Max install CDs, etc. Warranty guide and everything Mac, which is basically the setup instructions and everything you need to know about using it. Okay, so if I move this all to one side, okay, we'll power the Mac on. I'll give you a quick review on how it goes. The screen's on. Okay, I'll just turn it on the back if I can find the button on the side.
It is a very quiet system. I've used it for hours on end and the fan doesn't seem to get any louder. It stays lovely and cool. No overheating problems. The super drive is fast. My first Mac, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So, there we go. If I log on. Okay, Messenger is sign in automatically. We can obviously we have as any Mac minimize and maximize and close options. So I minimize that. It notifies me that I have emails. And um, one fun thing I wanted to know before I bought my Mac was whether I could use my email address with um, Apple's email program. It does support any email addresses. I'm using my at live.com account on here. Um, I think you can use Hotmail, Yahoo, Google, anything like that, including Mac email addresses. Okay, so the software I have in on here is uh, Microsoft Office 2008. It's very good, I must say. It's a lot better than what it was on the PC. So if we open Word, not on load. Okay. Word for Mac. 2008. Okay, and it'll load up here. Very good. Okay, what else? So we've got Finder. Very fast at opening. Opens instantly. Okay, I'll just show you that again if I close the window. We would find a. Oh, didn't click it. Opens instantly. Just like that. Multitask and let's go open iTunes. Not quite as fast, but it's still very quick. Much quicker than the PC. Uh, iCal. Opens instantly. iMovie. does take a bit longer to load, but obviously it has more to load, so that's fair enough. GarageBand. Interlizes every time you open it for some reason. don't know. I haven't really got my head around Max yet. <laughs> there we go, that's opened. Obviously that has a lot to load as well. And as you can see, the system is still not lagging, even though I have all these programs open. Uh, bear in mind I've also got Messenger open, we've got System Preferences, go and find, I'll show you a few of the applications I've got. Obviously Address Book, uh, one that comes standard, Automator, Standard, Calculator, Chess, Dashboard, Dictionary, DVD Player, Font Book, Front Row, Garage Band, that they're all standard. GetTube, uh, YouTube downloader and converter software that I've bought. iCal, standard. iChat, standard. iDVD, standard. Image capture, standard. iMovie, standard. iPhoto, standard. iScoff free video downloader. That's another sort of program I've downloaded. iSync, iTunes, iWeb, Mail, Microsoft Office 2008, Photo Booth, Preview, QuickTime Player, Safari, Stickies, System Preferences, Text Edit, Time Machine, Utilities, and Views. And Dashboard, I'll just show you what that is, in case you were wondering. Just like widgets here, you get your mini calendar, calculator clock, weather forecast, and uh, you get ones on the bottom as well. That's like apps on an iPhone, I suppose, in a way. You can close that and you can also download more off the internet. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope um, this helped you in some ways possible. Okay, thank you. Bye.